My wife is not the woman I used to know. She let the fame get to her. Part 3. Well, after that business party my wife didn't come back home. I tried contacting her since I was very worried but she didn't pick up the phone not even once. She came back home in the morning exactly when I was about to leave for her workplace to ask about her. I asked her what happened, and she said she stayed at this female co-worker's house since she drank a lot and she was in no condition to drive, fair enough. I told her that she could have sent a text to warn me, and that I would have gone to get her. Her response was with what? The Clio? I stood there in silence, and she later said that she forgot about warning me. I asked how she was feeling, only to be answered in monosyllables. We minded our own business for a while, then she comes to me and she says she has something to discuss about. I tell her that I have something to discuss with her too. And well, would you look at that? She asked for divorce. I wasn't expecting that at all. I asked her why, and her reply was that after talking to her friends she understood that I wasn't fit to be her husband, that we have different values and different lifestyles, and that she deserves a man of a similar worth compared to her. She was just waiting for the right time to brought it up, and after the party she made up her mind. I'm going to be completely honest, that was a low blow, but I just smiled at her. I tried talking to her, proposing to separate for a while to see how things go, I even proposed couple therapy like someone suggested. But she was dead set on it. So I calmly told her everything I needed to say, from the fact that I was thinking about divorce too to the fact that I felt like she changed, concluding saying that I'm sure she will find an awesome man since I know her worth having been her husband for more than 9 years, but that I know what I'm worth too. We decided to separate for the moment, and we will arrange the divorce later on, since she has no time now, but we have a verbal agreement on some things. I decided to go back to my hometown to relax and to decide what's next for me. I should be able to regain my previous position in the hospital, but it's all to see. Also, one of my friends there offered to host me until I found an housing. I'm really grateful to him. But well I understood that my wife couldn't care less about me when the lengthiest discussion we had concerned who was taking the dog. For context, we got him a month after moving since she always wanted one and to keep me some company. But in two years, she probably spent the equivalent of two hours with him. I always took care of him and well he's been a more than loyal companion in those two years. So, she literally made a fuss about the fact that I couldn't take the dog with me, for maybe half an hour or so. I told her that I didn't care at all. I was taking him with me since she doesn't have time to care for him. And it was very strange for her to say those things when she didn't care not even a bit about him for two years. So I packed the necessary and before leaving, I asked her if she was cheating on me, and she denied. And I will trust her on that. I read a lot of people in the previous post talking about hiring a pie, but I'm not going to do that. I trust what she said, and even if it wasn't the truth, I honestly don't want to hear nothing about it. It would only make me feel worse. I feel calm, but inside I feel like I've lost an important piece of myself. The things she said didn't hurt me initially, however the more I think about them, the more heartbroken I feel. But I'm trying to focus on nicer thoughts, like meeting one of my old friends which I haven't seen in a long time. I'm still trying to process everything, it all happened so fast. Though I must say that seeing my dog so happy inside the Clio brightened up my mood a lot. He loves car rides. Even if things went down this road, I still wish, her all the best. I could never forget what she did back then for me and in general in those 16 years spent together as a couple. I may do another update in the future about how things went, but for now, goodbye. I will take some time to focus on myself and on the upcoming divorce. Again, thanks to everyone. Take care.